Hello everybody! Welcome to another episode of Reacting Reddit, where real humans read, react, summarize, and share stories from Reddit. Today's post we're going to be looking at is from Large Fella, and the question is, Students of Reddit, has anyone in your online classes had an oh shit moment after realizing that their microphone or camera was still on? And if they did, what were they doing? Now, this post is taking advantage of the fact that you, me, and everybody and their grandma talks online on Zoom and stuff nowadays. And, obviously, this has meant there is a great surge in the number of times that somebody accidentally shows some titties or talks some shit. And this is a reality that we just have to live with, you know? Sometimes you see a boob and you, don't, you didn't expect to. Other times, you hear someone arguing with their significant other over their sex life and you're in the middle of your mathematics class whatever it may be we are going to learn more about it let's get at it oh where's our music one second i gotta fix the the musical situation here oh it's because i loaded the post without music so it's not playing one second i can fix this i'm gonna fix this give me a moment i'm just gonna play this open source free jazz music i got right here all right, now we got music. It feels feels good again. Now to read this comment by Ophelia Rain Galaxy, sharing the first story about effing up on a Zoom call. My kiddo is the student. His teacher had the kids doing show and tell today. My kiddo decides to use his older brother for his show and tell bit and yells for him without mentioning that he's in class with the webcam on and everything. So, 20-year-old Big Brother comes trotting into camera view down the hallway, all shirtless and hairy. And I gather, managed to embarrass himself and surprise all of the kids, too. I saw him go running back down the hallway to put on more clothes before properly saying hello. Yeah, that's pretty tame. I, I bet there's times where somebody was, like, straight up naked or something. Like, there's plenty places in the world where humans are naked in their own houses around like their siblings and family and crap like that's actually pretty normal in large portions of the developing so to speak world uh so it'd be i'm sure that people have seen a lot more than a, a dude's chest right <laughs> next comment is by sir hasselblad one of my classmates was talking to someone off screen about how shitty the class is and how stupid the lecturer is her microphone and her camera were both on. She was rambling for about 30 seconds when the lecturer said her name. She looked over at her screen, leaned forward a tad, then her eyes went wide open and she covered her mouth. She immediately disconnected, and we haven't seen her in class since. <laughs> this was two weeks ago. <laughs> Oh my god, I would have laughed so hard if I saw that. <laughs> like, just to see the moment of recognition in the girl's face where her eyes open wide and she realizes that everybody heard her. <laughs> this is why I believe that everybody needs to be constantly recorded, including government, and we all need to be live-streamed and just accept and understand that we have secrets and we all, you know, have sex lives and kiss people and stuff. And when we're alone, we do weird shit and then lie about it when we see other people doing the same weird shit in front of other people. You know, there's so many problems that our society just wouldn't have if we were all fucking recorded by everybody constantly all the time, you know? I mean, you might feel embarrassed by that, but you only feel embarrassed if it's you being the only one who's recorded being shared with a bunch of other people who aren't being recorded. What if at any given moment you could access a dick pic of every single politician? Well, suddenly dick pics of politicians don't really matter anymore, do they? <laughs> Moving on. Lucia Paciola says, oh wow, if I were an online instructor, I'd totally want to give the student a free pass on that kind of thing. Immediately message them saying something like, I know you're going to talk shit about me in my class. It's okay. Just make sure to mute yourself first next time. See you tomorrow. <laughs> that sounds like a badass teacher. I want that person as my teacher. Oh, hold on a second. Let me turn my... Turn my phone off. Nice. Okay. The... Chung Sto Fungus says, I was just finishing up a game of Counter-Strike, 
and I was joining a Zoom. Got pretty heated with the trash talk, and I told my friend he could literally eat my entire ass. I closed the game and hopped over to the Zoom, only to see my teacher and the whole class in complete silence and shock. I had forgotten to hit the mute button as I had joined the meeting. For context, I'm usually super quiet in class and I rarely speak aloud, so this was a pretty big shocker for everybody. <laughs> I'm imagining like that quiet kid in class suddenly splurging out, yelling, literally eat my whole ass. <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> Nanya Rooks replies, I had to take my niece with me to a video meeting for class. My sister was still asleep, no one else was at home, and baby was wide awake, and the teacher was cool with it. And towards the end of it, I had to keep reminding myself that the mic was muted, because the baby started getting really, really fussy, and I kept feeling bad, but no one seemed to notice, thankfully. <laughs> Guyardi says, it might have been a pig. I moved a family with a pet pig the other day, and once that thing got screaming, that was it. Sounded like somebody was being murdered repeatedly. Silvermoon182 says, Not in my class. Someone was unmuted while they started talking shit about someone else in the class before the teacher muted them. In my class, someone's mom came in and started yelling in Spanish. It was awkward because at first the teacher thought they'd been trying to ask a question, so she said what? and was quiet for a minute while everybody just listened. <laughs> I really want to know what she was saying. <laughs> Kool-Aid is the shit says, you want to know something embarrassing? Like two weeks ago, my boss called me and was like, the internet isn't working over at my girlfriend's house. So I just jam over. He said, I could go in the back house if I needed as the modem and router are in the main one. I ignored that. Bandwidth seemed fine. So I figured a hard reset may help. I unplug everything since no one was home anyways. What he forgot to mention was that his girlfriend's 18-year-old special needs kid was there with her caretaker in a Zoom class. These are more for fun, I guess, and she looked forward to talking to her buddies. Welp, I unknowingly cut that off. About five minutes later, I decided I would go and pack house to check the access point I had installed in there a few months earlier. Poor kid is sitting there staring at a frozen Zoom meeting and her caretaker is looking like she wants to take my head off while fiddling with her hotspot on her phone. I told them that it was back on, but the damage was done. The lady just kept talking to herself, mumbling about me, so I decided it's probably best to just dip at that point. And I drove back feeling like a giant jerk. I'm sorry, Laurel. <laughs> this story is by... Come on, pants! And they say, oh shit, this might be me because I did exactly that thing. Here's what happened. One fine day, I was having a math tuition over Zoom on my brother's laptop. And at some point, I began to realize that my math teacher was focusing on some students more than others. During then, I went on my phone and called my friends who was also in the Zoom meeting to comment on this. Being girls, it escalated to straight up shit talking this guy while he was teaching. I don't have anything against him, but since I have started to state the things about him that I don't like, I started to nitpick about him and it escalated to shit talking. Also, of the sudden, one of my friends started video calling me, texted saying I wasn't on mute the entire time. At first, I didn't really panic because I did that entire show minutes ago. Then I receive a text from another friend saying that it's okay if I quit the tuition and that she feels sorry for him. I started freaking out and left the call, only to text him, it was a dare out of desperation. Only replied was, what? Afterwards, as I wanted to share how embarrassed I was and what his response was to my group of best friends, so I screenshotted the chat and sent it to the group chat I thought was my group of best friends. The thing is, I have two group chats with them, one without the math teacher in it and one with the math teacher in it. I sent it to the latter. Although I deleted it, he read it and did not say a thing. Needless to say, I never saw him again. Filled with embarrassment and guilt, I quit the tuition. <laughs> That's a pretty epic story. <laughs> 
<laughs> See, that's real. That's the kind of stuff we all do, and most of us just lie about it, but most people are only going to say anything when they're anonymous online, like these Reddit posts reveal. Kagsuchi says, My brother's workstation is in my room because it's the only place with a desk and it's usually quiet. So one day I decided to take a nap. While I was sleeping, he had a meeting and as he was talking to his boss, I started snoring. Like, I mean, a truck hitting a wall kind of snoring. His boss just stopped him, asked him who is that, had a good laugh and carried on. Thankfully, he didn't get into any trouble. I'm not allowed to nap during the day anymore. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> I mean, if it's your room, you know, I mean, you should be able to nap during the day. I mean, I feel like, although, yeah, sharing space with a brother or they're earning money and that kind of thing, it's important to be supportive. Maybe uh, the brother can use a headset, a better headset. <laughs> I mean, you have, to sh you have to be snoring really, really loudly for it to be an issue with a headset. If you're using an open mic, like a recording mic, then that'll catch up snores like in the background. But in general, you should be muted if you're not talking. And if you are talking, you should be using a headset that drowns out background noise to a point. So it shouldn't really be that much of an issue. Most people are used to lurking anyway. They do more lurking in a Zoom call than actual participating. Jenib says, I accidentally did this to my daughter. Oh, damn. She was participating in a Zoom uni tutorial. Half an hour earlier, I'd started trying to fix our clothes dryer, which had stopped spinning and was giving off a burning smell. I took the dryer apart and after looking up several YouTube videos, managed to fix it. I was really proud of myself and I burst into my daughter's room and said, guess who fixed the dryer? Me! With my arms spread out wide. My daughter was mortified and said, mom, I'm in a uni lecture. Afterwards, she told me the professor told her to tell me she was very happy that I was so happy that I fixed the dryer. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please do one of the following. Watch another video we've made. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like or comment on this video or the Holy Grail. Reach out to us so we can have a face-to-face -face Zoom call with you. Yeah, we want to talk to other content creators. We're looking for more people who want to make YouTube content using our tools that we use to make this channel. So if you see what's on the background of this video and you see the thumbnails, these are things we use software to accomplish and you can do it too. All you got to do is chat with us. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.